Hi guys, Randy here, and this is something different which I'm trying. Uh, apart from playing games, I would like to also share my experience about how I was addicted to video games and uh, how I overcame it. So this would be a three-part series uh, which I would be doing, and the first part currently would be my journey to getting addicted to video games. So it all started when I started playing video games. Um, the first video game which I tried in competitive was Dota 2. And when I started, I was uh, with my friends in Cyber Cafe, and all my friends were playing it. So I thought maybe I should try it. And from that moment onwards, I was hooked. And as you know, Dota 2 is a very vast game. It, you need to learn to get better and the rat race started i started uh, learning the game to get better and reach higher ranks now this is not only this is all one sided i'm to talking about myself but even to get addicted there are two sides of the coin so you need to also think from the game developers point of view they are also making this game addictive so to do that what they need to do they need to make usually all the games which are uh, addictive are usually competitive games and these games are free to play which means it does not require any money you can just install it on your computer and with minimum graphics you should be able to run the game it on, it includes genre like moba which is Dota 2, shooting genres and tactical shooter and battle royale is as well. Now, that is the first uh, step towards making a game I'm addictive. It's to keep uh, to keep it free and accessible to the large audience. The second would be putting into a habit. Now, how do you do that? You introduce daily missions. So that's what it is. So you introduce daily missions where you reward the reward for completing the daily missions would be some default boring skins and you constantly do that for 21 days because 21 days it takes 21 days to um, make a habit and once you have done that for 21 days you have created a habit so from next time onwards once you start your computer or open up the uh, or sit in front of your computer you directly open that game and start playing without any thought okay it's the same with the social media applications which you have in a mobile phone you start scrolling up those reels seeing up those status nobody needs to tell you you have programmed your brain and hardwired it in such a way that it automatically happens you don't even need to think about it and that barrier of creating a habit is completed now what is the next phase the next phase is trying to in keep you invested monetarily which means start pouring money into the game now how do you do that you give sale discounts you give uh, um, small discounts like small amounts instead of putting big amounts you offer them a small amount of money like for example a uh, hundred rupees or 80 rupees something which is very cheap something which you can shell out it so they want to start a habit of spending once that starts then you once the habit is developed of spending small amount of money it gradually moves on to the bigger amount of money so that is the next part also once that is the barrier of uh, buying is broken the next phase is the battle pass what happens in that is there is a battle pass where you see there is a comparison between the free version of the battle pass and the paid version of the battle pass now if you are using the free version they constantly show you that you can you you could if you would have gotten the paid version of the battle pass you could have got this item you could have got this uh, weapon or something like that where they constantly 
keep on keep a comparison about how you are missing out on this um, item or this um, or, or this item or this power or skill or skin so it's always a step away from making that purchase and sometimes you just give in to it sometimes to get that unique dopamine hit you spend that money and now you have gotten into the premium <laughs> experience of uh, you have become a premier customer of and you are putting your a larger sum of money into that game now there is also once that is done you start playing the games now that is just battle pass okay i have not reached to the unique monthly skins or monthly treasures which are uh, which is the ultimate goal of the game so how do you reach over there they start the the games which you get matched you get matched against higher level of or higher tier players higher rank players now it's most likely that you are not going to win and often time you lose and to compensate that feeling that that sad feeling that you lost um, and you don't feel good so what you do you go and you buy that new item which is in the shop the monthly which is the expensive one and now that you have that skin or that weapon you feel good about it so now you're more monetarily invested and once you have invested a good amount of money you will it would be harder for you to pull away from this game because it does not make any sense right you put your hard on money you put effort and time if you pull back now it's like it's all gone to waste the only logical sense would be just to keep on playing with whatever skins or weapons you bought because that's um to be that what that makes you relevant so you, it's hard to just move away from that so now comes the last part now how this all the stages set now we need to keep on looping it so how does this loop happens this loop happens with the pushing of the monthly patches and updates and they keep you locked constantly in that loop of learning and if you play minimum hours you're going to get stuck in the learning curve so you have to play minimum of 6 to 8 hours a day so you can escape the learning curve and start getting better so this is how this is the routine now you, that you have formed a habit you have invested and deep down i don't know if you know this but once the routine is formed you are addicted where you see your other things in life crumble like your education your work your relationships the only thing that is going properly is you in playing this game this is my personal testimony i'm not saying that uh, this is how it is this i'm not debunking any game or i'm not hating any game i'm just sharing my personal experience i'm just a random guy on youtube so you like to take a take any learning experience from my experience good if not you can throw it away i just wanted to share my opinion so that's it guys thank you and have a great day ahead see you in the next one bye bye and yes i almost forgot please like and just subscribe if you like the content and give it a like thank you